I think I'm going to have to guide them through this. And uh, I really don't want to because it is about kind of that, you know, failing at, at points and then realizing what you did wrong. So I'm going to try to resist the, the temptation to guide them along and see what they come up with. And I think it will be a good conversation piece, maybe day four, to talk about, hey, what could we have done with this data? Because I think one or two of the groups will probably have all that data, and then some won't. They're just going to you know, just use the temperature to kind of figure it out. So what we did was we made a graph that compared, the, we put the constants on the end, okay. we made a graph that compared the type of salt, the temperature, and the cost. So then like say, these are hypothetical obviously, if you put this salt against like NaCl, it would be, this would be more effective because even though it's not as cold, it's cost efficient. And now still that is something you could show in the end, but when you're actually recording your data, what vital pieces of information do you have to have right in front of you to be able to calculate? The type of salt, the temperature of the salt, the cost of the salt, how much salt and the water. What about the temperature though? You just want to, you're just going to kind of remember like the change in temperature? You're going to no. know exactly what it is? You're going to want the initial temperature, the final temperature minus the initial right. temperature. Right, so I would actually change. put that in there so you have both of those down. So you want the temperature change between them? How is this process going? It's a lot of thinking, like brainstorming. Okay, what, what it is, and that's exactly what it is. It's hard to do this in 35 minutes, is it not? Yeah. Like, I thought, like, our first one was done, and then you come back with all these questions. You have to rethink it all. Okay, and, and guys, really, this is seriously designing stuff like this. This is critical thinking skills that you are going to have to take out of this classroom. Providing them with data tables throughout the year, you can see that they still struggle with trying how to develop and organize the information. I think that's kind of a key thing that they need to train their mind how to do, is organize the information so that it's in a presentable way. Because that's going to be really the real world application. It's not so much understanding the heat value that's in a calorimeter through a reaction. It's mostly about like they're going to take that real world application about how to organize data and, and use it outside of school in a career or college or whatever.